what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here since so i'm talking about scream 6 again in this video here today several of you have bombarded me with this leak that got out the fake synopsis that got out and just some something else that is seemingly the scream 6 crew set stalker kirby theory twisted around into more spewed nonsense that got shared on reddit this morning and was thankfully now removed i'm going to address that in this video and just take it from there so firstly if you don't want to have any minor spoilers or have anything that has to do with finding out whether or not kirby reed is the killer in scream six yes or no to that you can click away if you don't care then you can keep on watching now just to dive into it two credible outlets one of which i used to write for passed around this synopsis as if it was true for scream six when there was not a single new press release that i had received not a single new press release that anyone else i know that receives press releases had received not a single thing was updated in an official capacity from paramount spyglass the official scream admins or anything that was different as an update from the synopsis we had been seeing for the past several months and the past several weeks since the trailer dropped so alamo draft house is who was credited in this screen rant article for this synopsis of scream 6 going around the synopsis went as follows and it was allegedly at the time confirming several things that i already knew was not fake or, or meant to say i knew was not true several of you dm'd me about it i told you it was not true i told you it was bs there's no way but then when credible outlets start picking it up of course that that makes it seem as though it is legit but i still knew that it was not legit just because of other things that i know that many of you know that i know so this synopsis about scream 6 went as follows as the survivors of the recent attack in woodsboro traveled to new york city for college terror our final girl already doesn't make sense it is not just tara it is sam and tara <laughs> so tara begins to experience manic psychological breakdowns while seeing the ghost of past killers the error there is that that's also not factoring into scream six there is not a single thing in scream six that relates to tara seeing dead killers that is going to be left to sam and she's not going to be seeing more than just billy she's just going to be seeing billy <laughs> uh meanwhile her sister sam attempts to manipulate her by pretending to be ghostface why the hell would she do that what would she do that for i mean of course the movie would have rationalized it also why would they spoil that in the synopsis i just don't find that that, that immediately was just a red flag it goes on to say but what when their plan goes wrong three new mass killers appear on the scene leaving the question of who will survive and who will be the final victim left to be answered okay so then you have at the end there it's it's confirming that there are three killers i'll say this the majority of that was bullshit most of it is bullshit the fact that collider picked it up screen rent picked it up the fact that even even that it managed to make its way onto alamo draft house was shocking to me because i know that's who was credited as the source the problem here is many of you who reached out to me on social media and who do a lot more than just watch my videos you like to get to know me things like that many of you presented this same synopsis to me that alamo draft house put up when it first appeared on imdb and what do we know about imdb anyone can edit that and put in a bunch of nonsense if i was willing to bet just to throw it out there i wouldn't be too shocked if it had to do with the scream six crew set stalker who decided to go on imdb and updated himself this same individual has also managed to have this Kirby theory of theirs make its way over on Reddit in a post that was now removed, where they went on to say that Kirby is the killer. She has some accomplices. Only one of the survivors from Screen 5 is, is one of the accomplices, etc. Kirby's motive would be that she wanted to finally put an end to all the Ghostface killing sprees by going after every and all survivors and just closing out any loose ends to prevent it from happening again. None of that was true either. That was the other leak that came out this morning over on Reddit. That was false. Several, several of you messaged me about that. Thank you. But what was so funny about the Alamo situation was that many of you like me, because you brought it to my attention when it first appeared on IMDb, we already knew that that was bullshit because it came from IMDb. It's not that truthful things are not on IMDb. It's the fact that somebody went out of their way to alternate between the real synopsis that is attached to every single press release that has been being sent to everybody. 
and they went out of their way to add in Tara having visions of dead killers, uh, mentioning that Sam would play 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 with her by manipulating her by dressing up as a killer why she would do that i don't know and then it went on to confirm that there are three killers in the movie again a majority of that is bullshit a majority of what was written in that synopsis was bullshit so kirby is not the killer tara is not going to be seeing dead killers and a viewer non has also gone out of his way to chime in and say that it is not true they put out a tweet not too long ago to let everybody know that it is not official so we are definitely in that season where as the as the release date nears you're going to start seeing more fake leaks like this pop up it's been so tight-lipped this time around compared to screen five where we basically knew the movie before filming had even started well some of us myself included knew the movie before filming had even started because the fact that sam was billy's daughter leaked on reddit the fact that amber and Richie were the killers leaked on Reddit. The fact that stab fans in general were the killers leaked on Reddit. The fact that their motive would be that they wanted a proper stab movie leaked on Reddit. Going into Scream 6, it's been a lot more protected. So what you're going to start to see now is people go out, of, go out of their way to do this. And I saw some people thinking that it was just a complete misdirect by, by all parties involved. No, it wasn't. These outlets who genuinely are just usually very credible made a mistake. They made a simple mistake. That's all it was. It's not something that is going to ruin their credibility. I'm not right all the time. Uh, I'm not. I'm certain in the future I will be wrong about something. It's just how it's just it's just the nature of it. That's how life goes. It's not true. The leak is fake. You don't have to worry about Kirby being the killer. You don't have to worry about Tara having any visions of dead killers. You don't have to worry about Sam for whatever reason thinking it would make sense to manipulate her sister by dressing up as the killer. You don't have to worry about any of that. I'm pretty sure that Kirby stuff that you saw on Reddit might have been the set crew stalker under a new guise or just somebody in close contact with them. So they went out of their way to say that, yes, this is true because the person also told them about the shrine. So if the shrine ended up being true from the trailer, then it must mean that Kirby is the killer as well. No, it doesn't. None of that is going to happen in Scream 6. A lot of you are going to be in for a great surprise. I know several people who have already seen the movie. That is also the other reason why I knew none of this was true. The minute it was coming my way, I knew it wasn't true for several different reasons. So I'm glad Viewer Non chimed in to let you also know that it is not true. Because I know people will find Viewer Non to be more credible than little old me. But you guys can let me know what you think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notification that you never miss a video in the description. I will have links to all my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. And let me know if there are any movies, news, or reviews you would like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.